Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be doing a review and demonstration of the XP Pen Artist 15.6 Pro Pen Display, the holiday edition. This is a graphic tablet that you can plug into your laptop or computer so that you can have a screen to draw on and a pressure sensitive pen. As this is the holiday edition, this model also comes with some fun extras as well. Before we begin, I want to say thank you to XP Pen for sending me this tablet to test out and for supporting my channel. That said, this is not a sponsored video and all the opinions are honest and my own. This is the second XP Pen tablet I've reviewed and this model has a couple of new design features, so I'm interested to see what's changed and how it feels compared to the first tablet. I'm going to start by unboxing the tablet having a look at what comes in the box and the holiday extras, then walk you through setup and test out the pen and then create a finished illustration in Photoshop. I'll talk about my thoughts on the display as well as some of the differences between this and the other XP pen screen I've worked on. Okay, so to start off with, the packaging on this model is really nice. I love that it's designed to look like a wrapped gift with the little bow and the colors. I thought it was a good extra touch to this holiday edition and it's also nice that if you bought this as a gift for someone, you don't necessarily have to wrap it up as it's already in this lovely packaging and there's also a handle on the box as well. Moving on to the actual contents of the box, everything is well protected as always and set into a moulded insert to keep it all secure. The tablet itself is 15.6 inches and has a 344.16 by 193.59 millimeter working area. It has a fully laminated IPS display with a 1920 by 1080 resolution. The surface of the screen is scratch resistant and anti-glare and the colors are bright and vibrant. There are eight customizable express keys down one side, a dial that you can use to zoom in and out, and I'll talk more about that feature later on. The screen also has a menu and brightness buttons along the edge as well, and the tablet is about 11 millimeters thick. There is a full list of specs over on the XP Pen website, and I'll leave links to everything in the description box below. Along with the tablet, there are the usual accessories and, and a set of holiday extras. Starting with the pen, it's a very comfortable size with two customizable buttons on the side and the lower portion of the pen has a rubber-like coating, making it easier to grip and work with the pen as you're drawing. There are no cables or batteries for this pen as it doesn't need any charging. Then there is the drawing glove. It can fit on both the right and left hand. If wearing the glove on the left hand, then the logo is on the underside instead of on the top, but it can be worn on both hands. These drawing gloves are not only useful for protecting the screen whilst you're working, but also for allowing your hand to slide smoothly across. I find that that helps, especially when drawing line art. There is also a quick guide, a warranty card, and a downloadable link to the driver and manual. Then there was the pen container and the extra nibs. So the pen came very well protected in this tube, and one end contains the spare nibs, and the other end can be used as a pen stand. Then, as always, we have the cables. As this is a drawing monitor or a pen display, it has to be plugged into a power source and a PC or a laptop to work. The cables were as neat as possible. There are always quite a few different cables with these sorts of tablets, but they were organized and had labels, so it was easy to see which cable connected to which. There were also a couple of different plug options as well. And then there was the tablet stand. I was really pleased to see a stand included in this edition of the tablet as I like to work on a sloped surface and can also be stored flat when you're not using it. The rest of the items in the box were the holiday extras. First there is a fairly large enamel pin featuring I think it's XP Pen's mascot character on a skateboard. There was also a little phone stand again with the mascot character this time they seem to be taking a selfie or perhaps vlogging whilst jumping out of a plane. There was also a greeting postcard from XP Pen using the same designs that came on the box packaging and there was a message on one side and a lettering quote design on the other. The little mascot was also featured on the cleaning cloth which is useful for cleaning the screen and he's also on the tablet itself printed onto the little dial. Lastly there was a 2020 desk calendar included 
This calendar is really nice, it has a different illustration for each month, all created by different artists from around the world. The paper of the calendar is really thick and it stands up perfectly on the desk and you can flip through the different months. Those were the holiday extras which makes this edition of the tablet much more of a gift set. So that's what came in the box and now I'm going to set up the tablet so I can start using it. I first put together the power cord and plugged in the various cables, one into the screen, two into my computer and then the power cable into a power source. You will need to make sure that your computer has a free HDMI slot to connect to the screen. I set everything up on my desk and then headed over to the XP Pen website to download the latest version of the driver. It's always a good idea to get the latest driver from the website as the most updated versions will have fixes for bugs or any other issues. Also, if you have been using any other drawing tablets on your computer, then you will need to uninstall that software first before you install the XP Pen driver. They have all the drivers for all their products for both Windows and Mac. Downloading the driver took less than a minute and so did the installation. Once installed, I could fiddle and adjust any of the settings on the tablet and the pen. You can customize the levels of pressure on the pen, the express keys on the tablet, the dial and the buttons on the pen. If there are any keyboard shortcuts you use on a regular basis, then you can set the buttons and the keys to be the most efficient for you. Once you've made any changes, you can hit OK and you can always restore everything back to the default setting if you want to undo anything. There are also settings for the display. You can adjust the color, temperature, brightness, contrast and so on. You can also easily adjust brightness and contrast on the tablet itself as well. The whole setup process took less than five minutes and then I was ready to start drawing. For the next portion of the video, I'm working in Adobe Photoshop. You can use any drawing software that you have installed on your computer. These pen displays are basically like a second screen that you can draw on. You plug it into your computer and it replicates your display. I'm using Photoshop CC and using some of the brushes that come with the program. The first thing I wanted to do here is to test out the pen, to get a feel for working with it and to create a couple of practice pages. Just drawing thick and thin lines and getting a feel for the pressure sensitivity of the pen. I'm starting out by drawing lines and swirls, varying the amount of pressure I'm using, going from light to hard to see the difference in the lines. The pen has 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity. As you can see, I was getting lots of variation and the pressure sensitivity was working really well, just the same as in the other X-Pen model that I've used. Now the pen itself is quite a lot different from the previous model. I feel personally it's a lot nicer. I really like the rubber-like coating on the lower half of this new pen. It was really easy to grip and also just really comfortable to hold. The pen also has a tapered design which feels comfortable in the hand. And of course, the lack of recharging or battery is a big plus for this pen. Most of these newer tablet models I've used recently have all had these battery-free stylus pens, and I feel it's always a good thing because when I used a chargeable pen, I was always forgetting to charge it. So I really like these no charging pens. I definitely feel that this pen has been upgraded from the previous model and I like the new shape and the rubber coating, I just feel it's a very comfortable pen to use. Once I had got to know the pen and created a few of these practice pages, I moved on to creating a finished illustration. For most of this process I'm working in different layers, sketching first, then line art, then a layer of base colouring and then working on shadows and highlights. In terms of performance, I didn't see any noticeable lag or delay. The quality was just as good as the previous model, the pen worked really well and when I moved it across the screen, the brush in the Photoshop followed very quickly. The colours of the screen were particularly nice and just the overall experience of using it was really good. I enjoyed drawing on it, the laminated screen was lovely to work on, the pen glided smoothly across. I really don't have anything negative to say about the screen itself, it's a really nice screen and very nice to use. I didn't have any technical issues when working, but normally if the pen stops working or something like that happens, then I would reset the settings to default, unplug and turn off the tablet and then replug in the tablet. And from my experience with working with these sorts of screens, that normally fixes any glitches that I have. Also keeping the drivers updated is useful as well. Another thing I want to mention here is the stand. 
The previous model that I've used from XP Pen didn't come with a stand, they sold one separately, and I really like that an optional stand came with this model today. I personally almost always work on a sloped surface when drawing digitally, but this stand is optional which is good. Sometimes screens like this come with a stand that you have to attach to the back of the screen with screws. So that means that if you're someone who likes to work with the screen on a stand, but then also likes to take the screen and lay it flat or work with it on your lap, then that means that you have to physically unscrew the screen from the stand each time you want to change position. That's why I like the stand today because it's easy to set up and put the screen on. You just rest the display on the stand, then you have a sloped surface to work on, and then if you want to work flat, you just take it off. It's a very flexible way of working, and I like that the stand in this case is not attached to the screen, but it is there if you want to work like that. The only downside here is that this stand is not adjustable, so there's only one angle to work at. I found this angle to be comfortable, but that will depend on the individual person. One of the bigger differences between this model and the previous one is the red dial function. I was interested to try out this feature and I didn't think it would make much of a difference to my drawing process, but it did. I'm used to zooming in and out a lot when I'm working, so normally I have to keep my keyboard just behind the tablet and use one hand to access the keyboard shortcuts to zoom in and out. But because of the dial feature, I didn't have to do that at all when I was drawing today. I can just twist the dial and zoom in and out. I can also click one of the other shortcut key buttons on the tablet and pan across. It may not seem that big of a deal, but as someone who works a lot on the computer and in programs like Photoshop and Illustrator, that little upgrade made a lot of difference to the way I was working. I didn't have to keep accessing the keyboard and I just really like this new feature of the tablet. I understand that some of you might be thinking that I'm perhaps overreacting to the dial a bit, but this is honestly how I feel about it and for me personally it did make a difference to the way I was working and I really enjoyed having that dial feature on the tablet. I think the only thing I didn't like as much about this new package, and it's a tiny point, but it's the pen stand. The previous pen stand from XP Pen had a much nicer designed shape and the nibs were in the base of the stand. Now the long tube would be useful I guess if you were travelling and you wanted to keep your pen very secure and you could technically travel with the tablet but to be honest it would be a bulky thing to carry. The tablet itself is light but you would need to have a laptop with you and all the cables and then you'd also have to have a power source to plug the tablet into so that would be a lot of equipment to carry around with you. So that said I'm not quite sure why the pen came in this tube and the stand for the pen is just the end lid of the tube so it's not as nice as the previous stand pen stand was. It works completely fine, it sits nicely on the desk and the pen stands up in it but I just feel that the previous one was just a nicer design and I'm not sure why they changed the design to the tube. Anyway, that's a really small point and apart from that, I really loved the entire package. The holiday extras were all great. The calendar in particular was really sturdy and high quality. I liked seeing all the different artists and the illustrations. Each design or almost each design included the XP pen tablet in some way and the enamel pin, the phone stand, the postcard, the cleaning cloth, the packaging design of the box itself. They were all nice extras that really made this holiday edition special. I think it was really well put together, so if you're looking for a gift for someone or you want to get yourself a high quality drawing screen, then this might be a good fit for you. The pressure sensitivity as always was very good, there wasn't any noticeable lag or delay when working, and this model is more affordable compared to some of the other brands that are on the market. If this size is a bit larger than what you need, XP Pen does have other sizes and models available as well. I hope that this video was helpful if you were looking for information on this tablet. I'll leave links to the holiday package in the description box below. Thank you again to XP Pen for sending me the screen to have a look at. Please feel free to leave any questions in the comments down below. I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you all for watching and have a creative day.